Hi, and welcome to this lesson on the production possibilities frontier, three learning targets. First learning target, I can determine the opportunity cost of producing a good from a PPF. Second learning target, I can explain what it would mean to be producing at a point on the curve, inside the curve, or outside the curve of a PPF, and what would cause a movement from one point on the curve to another, and from one point inside the curve to on the curve. And the third and final learning target, I can explain the causes of long run economic growth and show it on a PPF. The big picture here with production possibilities frontiers, because resources are scarce, nations can only make so much in the short run, and if they make more of one thing, they have to make less of something else. First learning target, I can determine the opportunity cost of producing a good from a PPF. Now before we do that, let's take a look at just what a production possibilities frontier is. It's a model and it shows the possible combinations of goods and services an economy can feasibly produce at this time given the resources available. Remember the resources are the factors of production, the inputs, the land, labor, and capital that go into making goods and services. A PPF represents production capacity for a nation at this point in time given the resources that they have. So let's take a look at a PPF for Nigeria. Now we're going to lay out Nigeria's production possibilities. We're going to simplify it down. Pretend they can only make two goods, oil and cocoa. And maybe, given the resources Nigeria has, they can make 100 barrels of oil. But if they do that, they can't make any cocoa because all the resources were used up in oil production. So one possibility for them is 100 oil and zero cocoa. Perhaps Nigeria wants to make 10 pounds of cocoa. If they do that, they can only make 75 barrels of oil because they need the resources to make the 10 pounds of cocoa. Where those resources come from? They came from previous oil production. Perhaps another possible combination is 40 oil and 20 cocoa. And perhaps a final production possibility for Nigeria is zero oil and 30 cocoa. Here, all the resources Nigeria has is going into cocoa production, so they don't have any resources left to make and produce oil. We take these production possibilities and we plot them on a graph. On each of the graph's axes is one of the goods. It doesn't matter which axis you place the good on. Here, oil's on the y-axis and cocoa's on the x-axis. So let's plot the points. We have one point at 100 oil and zero cocoa. We have another point at 75 oil and 10 cocoa. We have another point at 40 oil and 20 cocoa, and we have a final point at zero oil and 30 cocoa. Connect the points, and there is our production possibilities frontier, or sometimes called the production possibilities curve. Any point on this curve represents a potential production possibility for Nigeria. No point on this curve is better or more efficient than the other. It's just what does Nigeria as an economy, as a society, want to produce? Now let's take a look at determining the opportunity cost of producing a good from a PPF. Same PPF for Nigeria. Remember, the opportunity cost is what is given up when a choice is made. So we can ask ourselves the question, when a country produces more of one good, how much of the other good do they give up? Or what can't they make now? And this is an important realization. If you're going to make more of one thing, assuming you're already using all of your resources, if you're going to make more of one thing, there's something you have to give up. There's something you can't make. So for Nigeria, what is the opportunity cost to Nigeria of going from making zero cocoa to making 10 cocoa? Well, at zero cocoa, Nigeria was making 100 barrels of oil. If they want to make 10 cocoa, if we look at the PPF, they can only make 75 barrels of oil. So what does Nigeria give up when they make 10 cocoa? They give up 25 oil, 100 minus 75. Because they are choosing to make 10 cocoa, they can't make 25 oil. Another question. What is the opportunity cost to Nigeria of going from making 10 cocoa to making 20 cocoa? So here, they are making 10 additional cocoa from before. Well, at 10 cocoa, they're making 75 oil. At 20 cocoa, they would be making 40 barrels of oil. 
So what is Nigeria giving up by going from making 10 cocoa to 20 cocoa? They give up 35 barrels of oil. And we can see that on the graph at this yellow line here. Notice that each time Nigeria chose to make 10 more cocoa, going from 0 to 10 or from 10 to 20, but the opportunity costs were different. They increased. This represents the law of increasing opportunity costs. And it says for each additional good produced, there is a higher opportunity cost. This is why the PPF is traditionally bowed outward. Sometimes we'll see straight line PPFs that represents constant opportunity costs, but more often than not, opportunity costs are increasing because the first resources we usually choose to use for a good are the best fit for that good. Now assess yourself. Can you determine the opportunity cost of producing a good from a PPF? Take a look at this question. What's the opportunity cost of going from producing at point C to point A? I would pause the video here to allow yourself time to think and answer the question. The answer is 15 iPads. At point C, this country is producing 100 iPods and 65 iPads. Now they're going to point A. At point A, they're making 75 more iPods than before, 175. But because they were at point C, they were already utilizing all of their resources, they had to shift resources from iPad production to iPod production. That means to make 75 more iPods, they had to give up something. What did they give up? They gave up 15 iPads, going from making 65 iPods, iPads excuse me, at point C to 50 iPads at point A. And we can see that here. Now answer this question. What's the opportunity cost of going from producing at point B to point A? Here, point B is inside the curve. Pause the video. Give yourself time to think and answer the question. The answer to this question is zero. Because at point B, this country is actually not utilizing all of its resources. So to get from point B to point A, they could just use resources that were not being used in order to make more iPods and more iPads. So there's nothing they have to give up here in terms of iPod or iPad production. So when we're shifting points along the curve, there's going to be an opportunity cost.